What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to watchOS 11, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have an updated version of watchOS 11.3 and this is the release candidate version. You can see for me on my device, this software update comes in at exactly 264 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 11.3 beta 3. Fortunately, this is not all that Apple released. In fact, they released a bunch of other operating systems including iOS 18.3 RC, we have iPadOS 18.3 RC, iPadOS 17.7.4 RC for specific iPad models. We have Mac OS 15.3 RC. I did a video on that. TV OS 18.3 RC to do a video on that soon. Vision OS 2.3 RC. Can't afford to update because <laughs> I don't have the Vision Pro. But other than that, if you want to keep up to date with most of these updates and operating systems, then definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you stay up to date. Now, I'm just quickly going to update my device and then we're going to see what are the new changes that this new software update has to offer. Just like that, my device is now up to date. If we go into the settings and then go to where it says general and go to software update, you can see our device has now been updated to the latest watchOS version. It won't find anything. And if you go to see the new build number that we have, you can see it here on watchOS 11.3. It's 22S553. Now, this is the current latest build and should Apple not see an issue with this RC1 version, then there won't be a need for an RC2 and this will be the official release that comes out to the public pretty soon, which we'll talk about. But as a quick disclaimer or update, during my update process, my watch actually got frozen on the update screen. It would not progress continuously. So what I had to do was to force restart it. You can force restart any watch by pressing and holding the digital crown and the side button at the same time until the watch goes completely black and then after a few seconds it will restart itself on the apple logo so i'm not sure why that was the case but i did update my iphone to the latest ios version which is currently ios 18.3 this is the rc version that just came out as well but kind of strange but i had already updated my iphone before i updated my watch but just so you know that was an issue in my case and um, it's kind of a weird one it's very rare for me to see bugs like this on watch os but let's talk about some of the changes that apple mentions when it comes to this update so the release notes of this update when you go to update to watch os 11.3 you will only see the release notes of uh, the watchOS 11 in general, which have always been here for the Apple Watch, but Apple also mentioned that this update includes improvements and bug fixes for your Apple Watch. So we don't know what improvements these are or what bug fixes these are. But in addition to that, Apple also usually updates CVE entries or security releases, which are common vulnerabilities and exposures that they usually update. And you can see since this update isn't out officially like watchOS 11.2, we don't have any notes for it yet. But when it's out officially, you can visit this uh, publicly available page for Apple security releases and you'll be able to see what it is that they patched when it comes to security so that you know why you are updating if this is uh, one of the things that you check and you can see, for example, with watchOS 11.2, there were actually kind of uh, a number of things that Apple resolved in terms of patches, a lot to do with WebKit and some to do with FaceTime and proximity. So yeah, it's pretty good to always check this page so that you know what's going on. And then another thing I was sort of hoping to see at this point in time, although it's not yet the end of the month, is the Unity watch face. So every so often, Apple adds like the Unity watch face around the Jan mid-January to end of January. And the Unity watch face that we got last year is still here. And uh, if you go to the U section, WUU right there, it's like I meant to do that. You can see some of the Unity watch faces that we got. But for this year, we haven't yet got anything. I think this was the latest one that we got last year. But 
last year i believe this one came out on january 26 so we still have a couple of days to go in fact like a week and a half before the end of january so we might see another unity watch face and then another thing i wanted to highlight are the release notes for this watch os 11.3 because apple doesn't really tell us much i wish this wasn't the case but you can see when it comes to watch os 11.3 they mentioned that this update has uh, a fixed issue when it comes to health kit where your device is sharing information that you've granted so here it says they fixed an issue with health kit authorization granted by the user for a data type uh, user for a data type might not persist resulting in the app being unable to access data and potentially prompting the user uh, again for authorization so this is a bug that has been resolved when you grant uh, access to certain health data where it will prompt you again and of course like i mentioned you know if you saw my previous uh, couple of videos when it comes to watch os 11.2 my modular jaw had a black screen and that issue was resolved it's good that way but as a quick update i think watch os also supports this because ios and mac os have it so there's an update when it comes to home for the robot vacuum support and automations that you can set up so it's finally here but keep in mind that you need a dedicated or you need a robot vacuum that supports this feature in order to get it to work with your device and you can always set it up on your iphone's home app and then it will transfer over just like the rest of the other devices you have in your home which is something that's good when you get notifications on your apple watch that are summarized they are now in italic and that will help you to be able to tell that those notifications have been summarized and then across the board apple has disabled notification summaries for news and entertainment because there's some processing in the background that's doing random stuff and sometimes it just summarizes the notifications incorrectly bbc i think commented on this and they uh, sort of threw apple under the bus but yeah if you have notifications summarized they are in italics but then there is no news or entertainment notification summaries now other than that that's how this update is for me it has a uh, other few new features and changes that i'll talk about maybe we'll hold that until the release date which is most likely going to be next week monday on the 27th of january so if you're looking forward to the official release then that's where i would put my money on but other than that this is the update keep in mind i did have an issue with the update process hopefully you don't have that issue i'm updating my apple watch ultra one and uh, that's about it for me for now if you like this video hit like and subscribe and i'll see you when this update comes out officially peace